And when we spoke, you resisted repeatedly naming a date. Now right. you have. I was at the news conference with Governor Hogan last night at 5 o'clock when he unveiled the CDC numbers and showed the 14.6% infection rate in this county. So what changed between yesterday and today? This seems like a dramatic shift from your position just yesterday. Well, it's really interesting because you apparently don't listen very well. Oh you were in a press conference with me. I think you were in the press conference with me on Wednesday. And I said we would do another press conference this week to announce what happened. And I said plainly that I wanted to wait to see what the governor was announcing and what D.C. was doing so that if there were things the governor was announcing that we could incorporate, we would incorporate it rather than do an announcement on one day of what we were going to do and change it two days later. So the governor spoke at 5. We got, we got clarity from Prince George's County about what they were doing. We planned this press conference because we knew we'd have that. We spent yesterday incorporating some of the stuff from the governor into what we're doing, so it's not, it would have been a different decision without knowing what the governor had done yesterday. That's why I changed it. I didn't want to say what I was going to do until I knew what the governor was going to say he was going to do. But I did listen to what you had to say yesterday, and what you did say yesterday is that maybe by Friday, maybe by Friday you would make this announcement. So I'm curious as to the information last night. Was it that eye-opening and, and that much of a slam dunk that you then decided we, we've got to make this decision, we've got to make it now? So, you know, look, no, we knew, look, I also told you that we were, if you were on the Wednesday press conference, that we'd be open by next Wednesday at the latest. I said we were still in that two-week time frame, and Chris Gordon said, well, two weeks is next Wednesday, and I said, yes. So you can figure we're going to be open by Wednesday or earlier. All that changed was the governor told us what he was going to do. The governor never, and this you can ask every single county executive, we're in the same boat. He never shared anything with us, ever. Never talked to us about what he was going to do. So if he had talked to us, we're in, no county, no county, Republican or Democrat, is part of his team that's working on a recovery opening strategy. So nothing he did was known to us. If they had told us on Monday what they were going to do, then we would have already we would have been able to incorporate it and probably plan differently. Prince George's no, County no would have planned differently. So we're not the ones that didn't provide information. We have repeated we have we have repeatedly asked for information and we weren't getting it. So we waited for the press conference, we got the information. And his stuff was actually pretty basic. I had no problem with what he said. There are a couple of things we're not going to do yet, but I thought it was basically okay. And I thought he said what I needed them to say about Prince George's County and Montgomery County, about why we were different than the rest of the state. And so I was happy with this press conference yesterday. Past, pastors, pastors aren't doctors. No. This is So, so far, we've got, a, we've got a downward trends of most of the things we're trying to get. We are trying to get the state, which promised to open up at Venice as, as a place for acute care so we have enough beds in case there's a surge, we're trying to get that job finished. We, ha we have, we had... We have... We have 19, we have 19, they had 19 spaces available in the ICU unit. So we're trying to get, trying to get more spaces available, which was part of the governor's plan. You guys are funny because most of this is part of the governor's plan. So, I can't, I think, I think, 
I'm yeah. at a restaurant, I'm 50% active, if I have a fitness club, am I going to have my money? I have no idea. Yeah. That's, I'd like to know that. Excuse me, the Constitution has no phases. That's right. 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 Thank you. For to your question in terms of the metrics that we're using to determine how we move forward, we're, 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 we're going to. Right. So I, I, I'm just helping okay. to, to level set that. So we're going to continue. We're going to continue to look at the same metrics that we're looking at now to determine which activities are safe to move forward in, in terms of lower risk activities. So as numbers continue to improve, consistent with the approach that the governor has taken and consistent with the approach of jurisdictions across this country, we will look at activities that are lower risk, that mitigate the opportunity for disease to be transmitted from person to person. As we move forward, if you look at some of the other jurisdictions, phase two activities include increasing capacity for restaurants, increasing capacity in retail spaces, increasing capacity for groups to be able to get together, whether they're in public spaces or in private spaces. So consistent with the approach that the governor has laid out, those are the kinds of things that we will continue to look at as we move forward. But we will continue to look at the metrics that we've laid out already to see continued improvement so that we can open up those opportunities. You can't eat the restaurant. I can't hear you. So, so you, are you on camera or are you not on camera? Actually, it is. It is. It's not federal law. It's federal law. I say every so you're, so you're, So the answer to your question is Hispanic small businesses were eligible to apply for small business assistance like everybody else. We're not treating it any different than anybody else. We had, we put out, we put out 25. They're still processing the applications. They still have to evaluate all the applications. We put out. Yeah, we put out 25 million dollars for small businesses. About 20 of the million, 20 million of the 25 has been put out. The other five million is yet to be put out, and will probably be put out after the council probably has to revisit some of the guidelines. I said no pedicures, no manicures. No. I meant they said you can do haircuts. They can't do the other. It's